Have you heard of Reggae Lane in Toronto? Well, it was officially named this back in 2015 because of its history and close connection to reggae music. Located in Little Jamaica, the street runs off of Oakwood Avenue and is directly behind these buildings on Eglinton Avenue. Shocking me too, there. He was a part of the Scatterlights. He backed up Bob Marley in the early years with the Scatterlights. He played in Simmer Down. The road has this huge, colorful 1,200 square foot mural by artist Adrian Hales. Part of bringing people into a little Jamaica is uh, the history. And part of that history is this awesome mural done by Adrian Hayes that represents our musical history and the culture of this great, vibrant community. One of the reggae artists on the mural is Toronto's own Jay Douglas. He even wrote a song dedicated to the road. In a reggae lane, rock so in a reggae lane. I grew up in the neighborhood. I was a student at Central Tech. Grew up in this neighborhood for years after my mom came here as a domestic worker. Like Douglas in the 1970s and 1980s, an estimated 100,000 Jamaicans immigrated to our country, many settling in this area. Some of those who came here were reggae artists bringing this genre of music to the area. This was where we meet to see somebody that we haven't seen from Jamaica or the Caribbean. This was where all the artists, we rehearsed here for shows. Marley, Dennis Brown, all these great artists. If they did not rehearse in this neighborhood, or out, if they rehearsed outside the neighborhood, they all came here congregate. For the food, record stores, Monica. First supermarket across the street, Leicester Supermarket. Everybody came to Eglinton and Oakwood. Now it's Little Jamaica with Reggae Lane. There's no shortage of history, music, great food, and culture in Little Jamaica. If you plan on visiting Reggae Lane and want to learn more about the history, the mural itself has a QR code with a link that tells you more about the area. For CD News, I'm Stella Quisto.